Hello and welcome to Homeschooling Mama, where I share with you um, the things that I have learned in the hopes that it'll help you as you homeschool your children while fighting sickness, disease. I'm sorry about that. My cell phone, I didn't turn it off. While fighting sickness, disease, um, or just having chronic um, health issues. Issues. I have been homeschooling my five children all of their lives. However, my um, first two did attend private school. Uh, my oldest daughter, she attended first grade and my second child attended kindergarten um, also at a private school. But I did not wait for um, them to start learning um, at those stages. I've always been teaching my children um, from the time that they get here. I have five children. Two are in high school, one are is, is in middle school, and two are in elementary school. And my children, um, all, maybe minus one, was writing um, by the age of two, reading by the age of three, uh, my youngest children got to benefit um, from all the experience that we learned and gained um, through homeschooling before they got here. And so by the age of three, they were also doing subtraction, addition, and they had moved to um, learning multiplication multiplication by the age of two and they were re I'm sorry by the age of three and they were reading at the age of three um, at the age of three I would say my youngest was at reading at a level um, like a second grade level she is still um, a phenomenal reader um, even now so I've been doing this for um, a while I've been doing this for many years and um, I would like to share with you the things that I have learned um, and how we have learned how to homeschool um, while fighting um, a health issue um, in my body. And so hopefully that might help you and it encourage you if you are a mother or a father who is homeschooling and find yourself having health issues in your body. We're going to talk about a lot of things like how to deal with hospitalizations. How do you still homeschool when you're in the hospital, you know, and sometimes um, I've had, you know, a couple days in a hospital. I've had a couple weeks in a hospital. I've had months and I've spent the good part of a year um, in a hospital. So I'm going to share with you how we continue to homeschool um, through all of that. How do you homeschool when you have up days and down days and therapies and appointments and all those different things? We're going to talk about um, just how to do it all. Um, I am not perfect. We don't have a perfect family and a perfect life, but I tell you what is perfect for me and I enjoy it and I love it. And I just want to share with you, um, all the things that we've done. Hopefully if you all have any questions, you can write them down and I'll try my best to answer them. If you put them in the comment sections. Also, hopefully, um, you can share some of the things that you do that, um, you have found in your life to help encourage other people that are going through that maybe that we can all glean um, off of some of the things that you have found helpful for you all homeschooling. Also, I would like to let you know that I do have another channel. If you YouTube surviving in the letter in thriving, um, you'll find some of the things that we do. And it's basically where we share the things that we have learned to help other families to move from struggling to survive disease to thriving right in the midst of it. And we share the things that we've learned and the things that helped us. So if you want some other um, things that can help you uh, to transition your family from struggling to survive disease to having a great life right in the midst of it and thriving, um, maybe there's some things that you can go over there and look at that might be able to help you. It's called surviving in the letter in thriving um and you can youtube that um but here primarily i'm going to talk about the things of homeschooling um being a homeschooling mom being a housewife being primarily in the home and how to do that while facing um and fighting um disease so i hope you all tune in again thank you all for watching bye